MLB The Show's coverage of Thursday Night Baseball brings us to Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, we wrap up this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. The Halos have won 14 straight games so far. We'll see if they can extend that to 15 next. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Xander Bogarts. First pitch of the at-bat. And the first pitch of the night here is taken for ball one, and we're underway in Anaheim. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And he is going to have extra bases to start the evening. Throw into second, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Past battles with Matt Shoemaker. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. Here comes the first pitch. Flying toward right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And the Red Sox are off to a one to nothing lead. Next up for the Red Sox, J.D. Martinez. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. 0-1, here it comes. Takes a knee-high fastball. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. One ball and two strikes to count. Misses. Ball two. So, he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now, I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Got him swinging on the fastball there. J.D. Martinez goes down for the first out of the game. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. The 1-0 is a slider taken for a ball. Well, not a great spot to be in right now. 2-0 to a great hitter like this. This is when you really have to pay attention as a pitcher. And if you have good off-speed stuff, this might be the time to start mixing in your off-speed stuff. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Now a swing and a miss by Ramirez as he's dispatched back to the dugout, out number two. Here's Mookie Betts. Pass battles with Matt Shoemaker. He's one for five. In there, strike one. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. A fastball that just misses inside. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Trout giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. And striding in is the second baseman, Ian Kinsler, now to get things rolling in the home half of inning number one. Ian Kinsler. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Benintendi going back on it on the warning track he makes the catch so one away here with the bases empty and standing in the ever dangerous Mike Trout ready to deliver here's the first pitch takes this the other way to right and Trout has himself a base hit Here's Justin Upton now in prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz. He's had some success, 5 for 11. First pitch on its way to Upton. Popped him up. Ramirez waits on it. Two down. Here's Albert now. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Albert. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. And he'll be back in standing up. He's set and the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And bobbled out there by Pedroia. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. Good job that time of not giving up. 
Riding in for Boston, Andrew Benintendi. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. He cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt Ladies to get a definitive answer on this play. All right, so here's one final line. look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off. And the runner the is safe at first as originally the called. So they will lose the ability the to challenge for the remainder of the game. Rafael Devers the next to bat as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Uh, tried to pull that one back but he couldn't do it and it's 0-2 now. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Jackie Bradley Jr. First offering on its way. And that one just missed outside. Bradley waits on the 1-0. Way in front of that fastball. One one. He's going, he's ben going. Intendi's on the move. Ben Intendi, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. That's a ball. And that misses two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. So striding in, Blake Swihart. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A ball of no strikes. The 1 0 steal, home. Steal, steal. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing. To... Next up, the two way Japanese import, Shohei and Otani. Up for the Halo. Designated hitter, Shohei. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. Missed with a breaking ball. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the run is Benintendi. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now at the plate, Andrelton Simmons. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First delivery to him on the way. Towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. Ready now for L.A. Zach Kozar is ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. First pitch on its way. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. 
digging in the switch hitter, Blake Swihart. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. First pitch of the at bat. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The 1 0. This is flared right back over the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Xander Bogarts. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Trout is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Riding in once again, Dustin Pedroia looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Heading out towards shallow right. Calhoun has a read on it. And that's the third out. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. In prior matchups against Drew Pomeranz, he's gone two for five. Cole Calhoun. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. Calhoun is often heralded for his defensive capabilities patrolling the outfield so much in fact it's not uncommon to hear the word elite when used in talking about his skill set. So I guess it goes without saying that his pitcher teammates always appreciate having him out there behind them. Yeah he just seems to be in the right place at the right time. I don't know if he could see the signs from out there but it almost seems like he gets a jump before the pitch even reaches home plate. Wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Faces are empty, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it is Betts, and Mookie's got it for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit out to right. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Ready for another chance? J.D. Martinez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Martinez, 30 years of age. He was a 20th round selection back in the 2009 MLB draft. What an absolute steal. I mean, he's, this guy has gotten a lot of people some big raises in the organization. To be drafted as low as he was and turned himself into one of the biggest superstars in our sport. I am very impressed with what this guy's been able to accomplish. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Here's Hanley Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The 1 0 is taken. Strike one. One run on three hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. 2 and 1 to the Red Sox first baseman. Toward the gap in right center. This is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. The throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Digging in to try it again. Mookie Betts. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. The batter. Stepping in and ready for another Andrew shot. Andrew Benintendi, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. Benintendi. 
Swings the bat and throws from the left side and stands in at five foot ten inches tall. He's in his third season as a major league player. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. There's ball four. Nope. Rafael Devers the next to bat. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. He's set. Here it comes. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. This one's down to third. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty in the end. Digging in for his second at bat, Mike Trout is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Center fielder, Mike Trout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Bradley. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's Justin Upton now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch popped up. Ramirez has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And now for the Angels, Albert Pujols. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Two out, nobody on. Pomerantz gets the sign. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Ramirez is there for it. And that ends the inning. Here's Jackie Bradley now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Jackie Bradley. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. The 1 0. Finds the zone, strike one. One ball, one strike. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. He pulls this one into right. Calhoun is there and he makes the catch for the out. At the plate, Blake Swihart. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Upton. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Here's Xander Bogarts now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A high fastball is in there. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. Back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him 1 for 2 in this one. So it's a good start for the Halos as their leadoff hitter reaches base. So digging in now, Andrelton Simmons hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. 
First offering on its way. Sinking line drive out to right center. And that's in there. Base hit. The relay. And he is in there. So stepping in, Zach Pozart, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. The 1 0. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. No runs, three hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. And he got him. Digging in, Cole Calhoun. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And gone. A dramatic home run that gives them their first lead of the game. In now, Martin Maldonado. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly -out. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Three runs already home here. The 0 2 once more. Very weakly on the ground. That rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. The next 0 2. Hit out towards second. In time to first, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the lineup will turn over now for the leadoff hitter, Ian Kinsler. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. A hit in two tries so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. That misses 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count. The pitch is looked at for the first strike. I got 2-1 the count. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swinging a soft liner. And Pedroia's got himself a base hit. Riding in once again, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. On its way is pitch number 75. 0-1 the count. Here it comes on nothing and two. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. And, and on 0-2, and he misses with a fastball. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning start. There goes Pedroia. It swung on and missed the throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is Upton. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Mike Trout. First pitch on its way. 
hit hard on the ground with third. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Ready once again, Justin Upton. He got under one and popped out his last time up. First pitch on its way to Upton. Up around the face. Hit on the ground to short. Played on the backhand. Pedroia on to first, and they get them both. And with two gone now, they'll get to work on Albert with the bases empty. Pomerantz is ready. Here's the first pitch. Right side. Up with the ball is Pedroia. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. The Angels are out on top in this one as we get caught up on our game summary through the first six innings of play. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to... And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Digging in to try it again, Andrew Benintendi. It was a walk in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. And this will get taken in at first for the second out of the inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit hard towards center. That gets down and the inning continues. Didn't waste any time like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. Ready for another chance? Jackie Bradley Jr. No hits to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lays off 1-0. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. First offering on its way. A changeup right on the outside corner for a strike. A fastball right over the outside corner. With runners on base, two outs and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. And that's going to get down out there. But not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. So striding in, Xander Bogarts, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he'll try and get him out in front to start the at bat, but this misses off the plate away. It's ball one. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Here he comes on 2 0. 3 0 now. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. 3 and 1 the count now. And he misses ball four. So now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Digging in and looking for more. Dustin Pedroia is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And that one stayed up a little high. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. 
Ready for another shot now. Shohei Otani. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch on its way. And a breaking ball stays outside. Hit hard back up the middle. And a dive there from Pedroia, but he comes up empty. It's a base hit. Yes. Now batting the shortstop, Andrew Penn. Come in. Andrelton Simmons will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Liner toward right center and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Digging in once again, Zach Kozar, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And that's off his leg on the mound. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. Goes to show you how strong this guy is. That wasn't a bad breaking ball that he hit for a home run and it last at bat. That ball was down and away. He went out and hooked it and pulled it. This guy's definitely a good hitter. Luis Balbuena will get the nod from his skipper to pinch hit, and he'll do so in a big spot. Base is loaded, only one away. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Gone! It's a grand slam! Here's the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. There to get it is Pedroia. Throw on to first, takes care of Kinsler here for out number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Trout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And they'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1 0. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, base is empty. Power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Jose Alvarez has been summoned now from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jose Alvarez. This change defensively for the Yankees. Now catching number 58, Carlos Perez. From the stretch. Missed with a slider. 
Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. The 2-0 on the way is laid off, but in there for strike one. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And this one is gone. A home run. Here's Hanley Ramirez. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. The 0-1. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. A 1-1. It was a slider that can't catch the outside. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Next up for the Red Sox, Mookie Betts. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. As a look, now the pitch. At the knees, strike one. Popped him up. Kinsler calls for it. He's got it one away. Striding in for Boston, Andrew Benintendi. He's one for two in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. Now a ball line softly down the left field line. Foul. Rolled slowly to first. Scooped up. Simmons. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two and it gets him. Your attention please. Now pitching for Boston. Number 37. Pete Hembrick. Here's Justin Upton now. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Justin Upton. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw by Fabroil be in time and there's your first out. And now for the Angels, Albert Pujols. He's batting cleanup but has been shut down so far at the plate 0 for 3. Here's the first pitch to him. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone. A home run. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses for ball one. But this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The batter number two, shortstop. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Bounce it to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Blake Parker makes the mound here. Not a safe situation, of course, because of the big lead, but he'll try to finish it out nonetheless. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. 
Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Devers retired and there's one away. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Last time through was a base hit. First offering on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. The 0 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Mm -hmm. Just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Splitter here, and it's taken for strike one. Oh man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. And he gets strike three called to end it here, and with that, this one is over. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top's player of the game. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run, and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player. Our final line score tonight.